Welcome to another exciting edition of Travel Guide. If you are new here consider subscribing. Today we will be visiting the 360 Chicago. Nice alternative to Skydeck, Chicago City Pass comes with a fast access which saved at least 40 minutes for me. Deck is nicely maintained, and provides a cool view of Navy Pier. Just a heads up the wait is at least in 112 just to get to the elevator. Cafe, and gift shop on top floor. The tilt was more terrifying than Willis Ledge, plus Terry's the Skywalk a tunnel on one side where the glass has been replaced with metal grates. When you go into the building, you have to go downstairs to get to the 360 entrance. You pay for the 360 experience, and then you pay separate for the tilt experience, but it's only like 8 bucks extra. Before heading up to the top of the tower, you go on a mini tour, presented with bits of information of Chicago, and the actual building. You have access to all sides, and picture taking is highly recommended with tablets that allows a deeper dive on major parts of the city. There is a bar on the top, and seating places, so you can hang out there as long as you want. Great view of the nighttime Chicago city. To see the lake from the top, one must go up there during the day, but the lights just give a sense of the vastness of the city. Tilt is a great idea, and worth trying. Beautiful views of the city by far but the tilt experience is very hard to get into, and somewhat hit, or miss. The tilt is a little scary completely safe though, but I'd recommend going on it twice if you have some money because the second time is enjoyable because you aren't freaking out. At the top there is a bar cafe type of deal for you to enjoy a drink while having a beautiful view. It narrates what other iconic buildings the Willis Tower surpasses in height like the Statue of Liberty, and Eiffel Tower, which was fun. This experience has the potential of lasting up to three hours simply because you'll be waiting in line for long periods of time, so try your best to come as close as possible to opening time. This place is an absolute must to check out. It cost about 20 to get up, but it's totally worth it. There is one attraction tilt where you can get to see the road below when you stand in the glass wall, and then they give tilt of up to 20-30 degree. There are pictures below the windows that show what you are looking at so that you can identify things that you are seeing. Worth every penny. You could easily spend the whole day in there. Reasonably priced if you take your time, and chill. I'd say it is a nice place to check out, and also just go sit, and watch the city from a completely different view. For 20 you can enjoy the view from top, and if you want to avail the tilting windows just add $8. Not too crowded you have enough space to watch everything. Go through the history of Chicago, and the architecture of the John Hancock building, way better than the Willis Tower, no way time there was plenty of space to take in the wonderful views without feeling rushed, or crowded. Would have to stay for about two hours, but worth it as you can see both day, and night in one go. If you want some fun you definitely gotta do the tilt. Eat a Euro TMS amazing. Thy it will make your fear go away. Thy. Beautiful views, and lots of info to take in. There is also a bar, an attraction called Tilt that is available too. There is a cafe at the observatory that serves light snacks, Italian ice cream, and coffee, as well as a bar. Great views of Chicago, went up right before a big snowstorm, and the city had a very interesting feel to it being overcast. The restaurant, or lounge are options to see the sights with a possible lower cost, but it depends on what you buy there. It is cheaper than Willis Tower, less waiting time to reach to the elevator and you can enjoy the beauty of Chicago with a shoreline from all the angles. If you just want to enjoy the view opt for the bar, or the restaurant one floor beneath the whole craze. Terry's the tilt attraction where a small part worth you is tilted from the building, but you can't use camera there. Also you can go out, but the outside part is covered with some metal mesh so you can feel the air, but pictures would be of no use. Not for the faint of heart, but if you can get up the nerve, or if you're a thrill seeker at heart, you must do this. You stand on a platform, on the 94th floor, hold on, and get a spectacular view of Chicago while the window you're leaning on is tilted down 30 degrees to look out over the city. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.